I'm going to tell you five trading you features you probably don't know. First, we're going to talk about a different kind of alert you definitely don't know about. Second, we'll talk about how you can compare two stocks that you don't need premium for. You can do it for free. Third, we'll talk about how to find any candlestick pattern without looking for it. It'll find it for you. The fourth feature is how to trade without using real money. It's actually a paper trade feature, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We'll talk about that in the end and you will love it. But before we go to first feature, hit that subscribe button because we need more subscribers. No, I really mean it. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is open up trading view and click here. The first problem is that you need a reminder to look at a particular stock. Now, traditionally, we have alerts on price. When price reaches here, alert me. Frankly, for an analyst, for a trader, it's useless because you want price and moving average, RSI, stochastic, and all these relationships on what you see on the chart. But trading view actually makes it pretty easy. So what I'll do is, first I'll click on alert. As soon as I click on alert, it asks me, which stock and it says bank nifty because that's what open now what i want to do is i want to change this to less than and i'll change price to ma52 close now if you scroll to the end you will see the message and over here it says bank nifty one day less than moving average 50 which means once this price closes less than the one day moving average I will be alerted. So if you are a guy who's looking to shortlist a stock once it touches a moving average, for example, this is the way to do it. And imagine you can use price and any indicator as an alert for everything. It could be Bollinger Bands, Stochastic, could be RSI. The world is your oyster. And all I need to do is hit create. Notice the trigger can be set once per bar, once per close, once per minute. I think that sounds like a lot but you can actually create this. So don't just do price alerts. Try this instead. Feature number two. The problem is this now, if I'm following Bank Nifty and I'm also looking at say SBI because I'm tracking the banking sector, switching between the two, I may miss something important. So how do I look at two charts at once? The first option is to cl click on this right here, but when I add two layouts, it says, please buy premium. How do we skip the premium part is this. Click on this plus button and type SBIN and I'll get Stake Band of India. I can just add that right here. And as you can see, now I can see Bank Nifty and SBI together in one chart. One is candlestick, one is line. If you want to change SBI from a line to a candlestick, simply click on settings, go to style, and you can change this style from line to say candles. And now you can look at two stocks at the same time, isn't that cool? And here is feature three. And I actually really, really love this because I come from an era where I had to go through every single bar to find out what candlestick is was. Trading view makes this a lot easier. So here's what you've got to do. Click on indicators and over here, choose or type hammer. Now you'll notice it says technicals hammer bullish. This is interesting because now when I click on this, every time there's a hammer, I get a highlight of it right here. Dude, isn't that interesting? So now I can just scroll through this because I don't see a highlight. I know there's no hammer, only the dojis. So I think you should be a little smart here and you know that sometimes dojis are closer to hammer. So I would also add a doji here. Now notice all the dojis and all the hammers are um, show up and I can see, okay, downtrend, I have a doji, do I need to do something? This is amazing. I mean, we can go through this and find out all the candlestick patterns highlighted for us. Problem number four is this, that you know all these tools and you'll probably be able to understand them, but you won't be able to use them. The problem with video is that you can learn a bunch of concepts, but to actually learn a skill, which is what this is, you need three things. You need to sit with a mentor, the mentor needs to show you, you need to do it and he needs to give you feedback. You should also do this inside a group with people. And only then will you learn a system, a strategy, technical analysis, and maybe even then you won't get it, but then you have your community to help you. So to actually get that experience, try something called Learn App Prime. 
Fill out the form in the description properly, get invited and learn it this weekend. It's completely free, but not everyone gets in. If you put wrong answers and say you want to double money and stupid shit like that, you will be rejected. So fill it up diligently. Back to trading view. Problem number four is this, that when you open your trading software like TradingView, you have a standard way you analyze something. I'm sure you have a favorite thing, right? For me, it's the moving average. Like if I move away from the moving average, it just doesn't feel like home. But the Kida inside all of us want to try something new every single day. So here's how you actually handle this. First, you create a layout on what you actually want. So I want price plus MA. I have I see price over here. I have a moving average. I hit a save button over here. And as you can see, I've given a name to it by hitting rename. I've called it price plus moving average. Now I can go and do my experimentation. So I watch some nice videos on LearnApp about Heiken Ashi charts. I learn it and I want to try it. So I go to candles, click on Heiken Ashi. Ashi. Let's say I want to remove volume and look at these stocks and remove moving average because, you know, we don't need it anymore. And now I can see the trend. Now, for whatever reason, I have to go back to my main way of analysis. How do I do that? Simply click on this drop down, click on load layout and click on price MA. A new window will open with exactly how I wanted it. I don't have to go and change indicators, remove volume, add an indicator, etc, etc. My standard view is open. So use layouts to go to your standard view. And for everything else, just do your experimentation. This will save you many, many hours. And finally, we have the most interesting of them all, feature number five, paper trading. So if you look down here, hit paper trading, it's exactly what it says. You can place an order, paper order, without actual money. So you have the thrill of seeing whether it worked or not. You put your money where your mind is, but not actual money. So you get a feel. I think that's useful. Over here, we can see paper trading. I can simply select an account and place the order. When I click on trade, I get another panel on the right. So here, what I can do is I can just place one order. Let's say a buy market order. As you can see, I've placed the order and can see the PL right here, whether it's a profit or whether it was a loss. So in conclusion, all these features will help you save time and become a better trader. You have to spend more time in analysis and less time in figuring out how a tool works. So make sure we hit a thousand likes this time. We have a like target, smash that like button. If we do touch a thousand likes, we will make part three. So tell me, should we actually make part three? And should we cover the premium version of TradingView as well? Because I think the free version has a lot of features. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you in the next video. There's so much light on me, I can't even see the camera. Moving average strategy. I said, I don't know, I said, I don't know.